welcome back to the Nursery Edition on YouTube channel. This is a lot of How are you guys doing? I know it's Saturday uh, in the morning. I guess my hair starts to tear right now. So it's again. But so that be said, good morning. And today we're gonna react to more Darwin. You've been ready for. It says teacher kicks out mom. She lives to regret it. If we want to for you guys for today. Now, so we watched the murder video of last night on Darwin. So that's why today we're gonna start reacting. So I definitely hope to recommend to to react to this video because so why not? So that's our let's get started for today's video on Darwin. But before we begin on today's video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on post notifications to get notified for latest like our videos and lots of before and you see what's going on so let's get started reacting to Darwin which is going to be teacher kicks Bob at school she lives to regret it so that said let's get to reacting to the scene <laughs> Emmy? What are you doing out here all by yourself? Oh, hi, Mrs. Thompson. I'm just waiting for my ride. Um. Sweetie, are you sure they're coming? Yeah, she's just running a little late. Okay, well, I'm just going to wait with you. And this works out well because... I need a parent to sign your permission slip for tomorrow's field trip. Oh, there's my ride. Hi. I am so sorry I'm late. Things just got a little crazy. You know, school got out over 20 minutes ago. Poor Emmy's been sitting here waiting all by herself. That's not safe. Yeah, I know, and I, I'm so sorry. It just, I, I got off work late, and traffic was kind of hectic, but I got here as soon as I could. Not a very good way to start off the first day of school. If this happens again, I'll have to write it up. I, I completely understand. I promise it won't happen again. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. I've been playing my game. I knew you were coming soon. Good. Where to go? Hold on. I need a parent to sign this. It's a permission slip for tomorrow's aquarium visit. Oh, okay, yeah, I can sign it. Just let me get my pen. You're not going to sign it. A parent needs to. Yeah, I know. I'm Emmy's legal guardian. <laughs> okay, that's not possible. What are you, 18? There's no way you're her legal guardian. Actually, I'm 21. And I've been looking after Emmy for a while now. Okay, I don't understand. It's sort of a long story, but if you need any proof, I could definitely get you some documents. No, I think I need to speak to the school. What What was your name again? Quinn. I know it's a weird situation. No, to say the least. It definitely concerns me how young you are, especially given the fact that you couldn't pick up Emmy on time. I don't think you're fit to be her guardian. You know, I may be... Okay, y'all, so, just the other mom is just saying Quinn, and so that's her daughter, Emmy, but the teacher, her teacher asked if only for a parent for a guardian, and the next thing of all, she does it not true at the same time to see what's going on, so I'm thinking that Quinn is not officially guardian to Envy and see what you've been waiting for. And not only this only gets the price, but she fact that the these two girls are headed to Marissa today and see how it go a bit through for Marissa. You know, like you feel okay to be guard a Perry Guardian and how to get for through is to be about. So she will definitely to that that teachers will be allowed to to a youngest parent at least 20, 21 years old. And you'd be assigned for vicious life and see for taking um, Quinn's daughter into the school field trip to see what's going on. So she not be not, but might be not true. So. 
concerns me how young you are, especially given the fact that you couldn't pick up Emmy on time. I don't think you're fit to be her guardian. You know, I may be young, but my age doesn't define my abilities. And I think I do a pretty good job considering everything. What do you say? Yeah, Quinn's the best. I'll be watching you, Quinn. Put that away, okay? We're getting ready to go. The Thank bus you. will be here in about 15 minutes. Miss Faye, does everyone have their lunch? I think so. Uh, where's your lunch, Emmy? Uh. Emmy? Quinn didn't give you anything to eat? No, but she's going to drop it off soon, I think. She didn't even bring poor Emmy lunch. Maybe she forgot. Oh, that's no excuse. Every parent here has made sure their child has something to eat. It's so irresponsible. I'm sure it wasn't on purpose. You confirmed with the school that Quinn is her legal guardian, right? Yes, but I swear that girl, that girl is not capable of being a legal guardian. I'm going to go speak to the principal once we're done with the field trip. Hey, got your lunch. Please tell me you got chicken nuggets. Oh, of course. Fries and barbecue sauce, too. Your favorite. Thanks, Quinn. You're the best. Yes, I am. Quinn. That's what you bought her to eat? It is so unhealthy. She doesn't eat like this every day. Okay. Do you even feed her every day? Of course I do. What kind of question is that? Okay, Quinn. What do you cook for her? I don't think that's any of your business. Great way to dodge a question. I can't even believe you would suggest that I would starve Emmy. You know what? You don't fool me. I was 21 once. You probably didn't make her lunch because you were out partying all night. Actually, I have a full-time job, and I'm a full-time student. So no, I wasn't partying. Right. Tell you what, I will take care of Emmy today. I will buy her lunch so she doesn't have to eat that garbage. Hi! Can I see that? Uh, sure. Thanks. Can you get them ready, please? Sure. All right, kids, gather in. No, don't. Why would you do that? She asked for that. I am going to go buy her some real food, like a responsible parent would do. Have a good day, Quinn. But you can't do that. I said good day, Quinn. All right, everybody, let's go. We don't want to keep the bus waiting. Yo, like, <laughs> first, the teacher starts, sorry guys, this is for game first time ads, but, uh, yo, but yo, so this is going on because the, her teacher starts first, the teacher starts to get blamed to Quinn about, uh, you know, signing illegal guardianship. And now, and now she took her her favorite meal, which is her chicken nuggets with fish fries with extra barbecue, barbecue sauce that she got for order from, um, from McDonald's. And now the, her teacher starts to do all the way and completely what's going on. And while 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 Quinn and the others are taking to 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 field trip which freaks, um Quinn's Quinn's teacher well Quinn and Emily's teacher starts to piss and see I can't believe you should never do away with the full chicken duckers with fish fries and barbecue sauce that, that she got it from McDonald's, that's why her favorite. And that's of all Quinn starts to feel pissed pissed off for um to her teacher. You should never I think her her teacher starts to feel just so just so one and like I said well, and I was getting some my food and it makes me well sometimes my teacher Starts to do my way, starts to be as a person to see what they're going to do, and how it feels to feel like the teacher got old 
to the young mom, so that's a young daughter, well, younger person, but it is freaking so fun too, so, so, I think in the most of the times, the decision is the way I'm ready for and how to get to see what's going on, so, yeah, that's about to rip off. Can you get them ready, please? Sure. All right, kids, gather in. No, don't. Why would you do that? She asked for that. I am going to go buy her some real food, like a responsible parent would do. Have a good day, Quinn. But you can't do that. I said good day, Quinn. Oh. All right, everybody, let's go. We don't want to keep the bus waiting. Here you go. Oh, do you need any help with that? Yeah, just wait. I'll go get that. Hi. Hi. I'm looking for Ms. Myers. Yep, it's me. I'm Julie. I'm a caseworker with CPS. Uh-oh. Child Protective uh, Services, come. Child Protective Services? Um, are you, you sure you have the right house? You're Miss Quinn Myers, right? Yeah, I'm just confused why you're here. I'm just here for a brief home visit. Is it all right if I come in? Yeah, sorry, did, did someone call you or something? Or I just I don't understand why you're here. We received a complaint. So I just need to do a routine inspection. Who complained? Unfortunately, we're not allowed to disclose that information. Yeah. Pretty sure I know who it was. Yeah, you can come on in. I was just helping her with her homework. Thank you. Child Protective Services? Seriously? Excuse me. You cannot just barge in here like that. I already have way too much on my plate. I don't need you adding more stress. You know what, Quinn? It's not my fault that you're an unfit mother and you can't take care of Emmy. I am just looking out for her. Then you shouldn't be trying to take her away from someone that loves her. I am the only person who can take care of her. Look, a lot of children go through the system and they turn out just fine. Emmy needs a responsible adult in her life to take care of her. Not a child who can't even pick her up on time. That happened one time. That's it, and I already told you what happened. Yeah, always an excuse. Just like you couldn't bring her a proper lunch. She eats fast food once a week because that's what she likes. Okay. And I'm so Quinn, you know what? If you're such a great mother, then you have nothing to worry about. Personally, I'd rather take CPS's word for it. You're unbelievable. Yeah, and I hope they do take her. Wow. <laughs> Yo. What? What did she just say? She's like, she said that you're not as responsible to take care or Emily. That's why Quinn is about to hear a shred of her, hear a shred with Emily's teacher, say that you're not be graceful to... So he is also falling to Dickie that Quinn is not the bad young mom to young parent to Quinn so to Emily apologize. And those of all she fought to get tells her tell us uh Emily teacher to learn the truth about what is going on on this day because they're both the same as I here is impossible to see. What they're going to do is to see what's going to do. So that's why she got all my own decision to see how it been to get through. So she starts completely pissed off to uh, Emily's teacher, to Quinn. And now here comes the child protected services to take uh, Emily away as soon as possible. But Quinn tells out uh, her teacher, it goes, that's not true is hate to see 
that her teacher gives to further shrew and her father's up a lesson. Yeah, always an excuse. Just like you couldn't bring her a proper lunch. She eats fast food once a week because that's what she likes. Okay. And, I'm so and you know what? If you're such a great mother, then you have nothing to worry about. Personally, I'd rather take CPS's word for it. Ooh. You're unbelievable. Yeah, and I hope they do take her. Uh-oh. Do you have any idea what Emmy's been through? Or how I even became her legal guardian? No, I don't. Then I'll tell you. Oh, Emmy and I grew up together living with our dad. My mom passed away when I was little, and Emmy's mom abandoned her. Even though we both didn't have our moms, our dad showed us more love than we could ever ask for. He worked so hard to make sure we both had everything we needed and did whatever he could to keep us happy. So much so that he never told us he was sick. By the time Emmy and I found out, it was too late. It turned out our dad had late stage cancer. He never told us because he didn't want us to worry. That's how much he loved us. After he passed away, Emmy and I had no other family to go to. I was old enough to take care of myself. But since Emmy was under 18, she was taken away into the system. Losing her was just as hard as losing my father. After that, I did everything I could to get Emmy back. I found out I could become her legal guardian, and I fought for months to make that happen. Despite my age, seeing how responsible I was, the judge decided to say yes. Never forget the day I got her back. Yes. That day I promised her that no matter what, I would always be by her side. Wow. We've been together ever since. So you see, I'm all she has. Wow. I, I know we're still adjusting to the situation, but there is no one that she should be with besides me. Wow, so that's why not only Quinn was just becoming a her a guardian to, I'm sorry guys, I was scratching my leg. <laughs> um, not only Quinn is to become a full-time guardian, she's now become a guardian to Gracie because why? Because her dad starts to find out that he has stage cancer and that's why Envy's mom was abandoned her, and of course, Quinn was tragically died. So that's why Quinn is to take care of her dad, and of course, Envy is related to Envy is related to dad, and they're having a good time ever since. And next thing of all, the both girls that was confirmed by now he has stage cancer and. And now he's about to, I don't know. So it's so again, so her dad is starting to pass away and see how they going through. And then next year of all, after her, the, after the girl's dad was starting to put completely passed away, um, um, the foster P lady, is take it to the dog, take this lady to the dog to Emily, and now which leads to um, Quinn starts bursting tears in order way to get uh, Emily back. And now the judge here comes the city judge starts to will be allowed to see how big they do to see 
what we're going through. And now the judge say yes, and that means Quinn starts to finally, finally to get uh, Envy starts to back. And they say of a ball, um, she fought to, she fought to start to apologize for her down. Is he have been careful? Did you, you see what's going on? So that's why, uh, yes. Yeah, so Quinn and Envy are they are both gay back ever since their dad, well, her, the, yeah, her dad was completely passed away for, for his cancer and lots of people. So, so that's why, so that's why her teacher, so that's why Emily's teacher starts to finally knows that if, that Quinn has been go, going through she was taken away into the system. Losing her was just as hard as losing my father. After that, I did everything I could to get Emmy back. I found out I could become her legal guardian, and I fought for months to make that happen. Despite my age, seeing how responsible I was, the judge decided to say yes. I'll never forget the day I got her back. That day I promised her that no matter what, I would always be by her side. We've been together ever since. So you see, I'm all she has. I, I know we're still adjusting to the situation, but there is no one that she should be with besides me. Please, just don't take her away from me. I mean, if not for me, then for Emmy's sake, please. Look, if what you're saying is true, and I'm really sorry that you've been through that. I really am. But just because you want to take care of Emmy doesn't mean you're able to. So like I said, I'll just wait for CPS's findings. Hello, Mrs. Thompson? Yeah. Hi, how'd it go? I'm still conducting my investigation, but after my initial inspection, I feel like Quinn is doing an incredible job taking care of Emmy. Really? Yeah. I'm very impressed, especially considering her age. But if anything changes, I'll let you know. Otherwise, I think her case will be closed pretty soon. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Do you think I should paint your nails? Yes, please. <laughs> you do such a good job. I swear I can't do it at all. Oh, coming one second. Hi. Ms. Thompson. What are you doing here? I hope you don't mind me coming over like this. I got your address from the school. Quinn. I came over because I wanted to tell you how sorry I am for judging you. Wow, wasn't expecting that. Well, CPS concluded their investigation and everything that you said is true. Emmy really is lucky to have you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you coming all the way out here. You really didn't have to do that. Oh, and also, I wanted to drop off this. Chicken nuggets, french fries, and barbecue sauce. Enough for the both of you. Thank you. You know, I was cooking dinner, but I think Emmy's going to eat this. I'll take this. <laughs> and also, <laughs> we're having a field trip next week. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can definitely sign that. Well, what I was going to ask you is, would you like to join us? 
It would be a lot more fun having you there, especially because you're so great with the kids. Yeah, I'd love to. Thank you. Great. So I'll see you soon. You guys have a good night. Thank you. Me too. Did you already eat all of them? Really? Hold on. Come on, please. <laughs> today's reacting video to Darman for the rest of today and yes it's true Quinn starts to finally well Quinn tells her her teacher starts to finally realize that Envy is now become a her full-time inquiry full-time guardian and see how they're going to do for the rest of today and so so that's how her teacher starts to finally realize, and yes, she starts to feel it just a lot about taking uh, her every way by the seed, by child protective services, and see what I'm going to do. Until finally, after, like, once again, they're both that was completely found out uh, he's having a ser uh, serious uh, for cancer, and now he's gonna, for these. 24 hours to live, and now he's now starts to completely pass away, and he starts to go through that. Ever since that, uh, Quinn's mother was also passed away, to say it's her dad, and of course, Emily's mom starts to abandon her, abandon her to see what's going to do and how to get go through for that. And that's why her teacher starts to apologize to Quinn, and of course, I. Uh, Bill Josh to Emily and and enough of all he's got acts that don't take um Emily's away for her during her sake. Ever since that she got order um quit ever since that Emily got back, which is a few few years ago, and see how they go with this. So she finally stood off and now she's still all to take care of her and Emily. And see what's going on. And most of all, she wants to, her teacher starts to buy her to go to a field trip and see what they're going to do. So, so yeah, she does that. So, that is why Quinn and Envy, Quinn and Envy are now both standing up and see what's going on. So, and yes, there's a real life between Hunter and Gracie. And now Hunter and Gracie have been together ever since. See what we're going to do. So. Yeah, so really proud of both these two. May have a great for for us today. So yeah. All right, guys, that's the end for today's reacting video to Darwin for for us today's well, yeah, for us today's video. So that we say so again. As always, yes, thank you so much for you. thank you so much for reacting to our. Our, our reactive video for Darwin for the rest of today to see what's going on and we're going to lose her situation. But anyway, so that being said, thank you so much for watching for, for today's video. So that being said, if you, if you like this video, give me a huge smash the thumbs up button if you guys enjoy. And of course, comment down below what you think for today's uh, our reactive video. And see what's going on and of course thank you so much for watching and of course make sure to subscribe to make sure to subscribe to our channel if you guys if you guys are watching and see what's going on and don't forget to turn on post notifications get notified for these outcome videos and see what they're going to do and of course don't forget to follow us on my socials that's make sure to follow us on facebook Twitter and TikTok. Make sure to follow, follow me on Instagram. And of course, make sure to follow me on Patreon and add me on my Snapchat. On my Snapchat to see what we're going to do, see if I go 
go away for. So that being said, I thank you so much for watching. And of course, I'll see you in the very next one to see. I give a more uh, more Darby videos and see what's going on. So that being said, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the very next one. So that being said, love you guys and always remember be be doll with you. So that being said, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the very next one. Peace out.